Can you create an immersive mix from a single stem? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pentio plugin to upmix a vocal stem that has reverbs, effects, and delays to create an awesome immersive mix. All right, here. So in this session, we have a single vocal stem, and this is what the stem sounds like by itself. But when I hold you close, the feelings didn't over. So we keep chasing ghosts. So every time we try, we don't get any closure. We keep chasing ghosts. So as you're going to hear, this vocal stem has stuff printed such as backing vocals, harmonies, it's got some delays, and then when the chorus hits, it's got this big, massive cathedral sound. What can we do when we don't have access to the dry vocal stems or wet stems? You can use Pantheo plugin for this. Check it out. All right, so I've separated the vocals based on the arrangement parts of the song. So this particular vocal is the verse. And then this vocal is the chorus. So it's the same file, but I've split it and I've put it on separate tracks so I can treat it differently. So because I am thinking of this as a vocal arrangement or as a mix arrangement, the verse is going to have the Pentio plugin and I'm going to use it to push most of the energy to the center channel. Then by contrast, when it gets into the chorus, I'm going to use the same Pentio plugin, but I'm going to push it into all the other speakers. All right, so for starters, be sure to be listening to this video using headphones so you can hear the binaural effect created for headphones. All right, so let's go ahead and solo the lead vocal. This is the stem, and this is what the original stem sounds like in this part of the verse. But when I hold you close, the feelings didn't over. Okay, so we're using the Pentio plugin and everything is flat. And what I want to do is I really just want this vocal and this part of the song to come out of the center channel. So I'm going to do is I'm going to mute all these channels, which are the overheads, the LFE, the rear, and the side. And I'm going to mute the left and right. So the only channel that's not muted is the center. Then I'm going to push up the center slider and basically redistribute the sound to come out of the center speaker in my room. And you guys will be able to hear that on headphones that it sounds more focused. Here we go. When I hold you close, the feelings didn't over. So we keep chasing ghosts. So every time we try, we don't get any closure. Okay, so this part of the verse, by using Pantheo, I push the center channel up. I've muted all the other channels, so I'm only hearing it out of the center channel. Now, by contrast, when it gets to this part of the song where all the voices come in, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to mute the center channel and I'm going to leave everything else on. And I'm going to push and distribute these frequencies to the side channels, which are the speakers left and right of me. And you can see that displayed here. The rear channels, which is this blue slider and the overhead channels, which are these sliders right here. So let's listen to what happens when we create that contrast effect. Here we go. We keep chasing ghosts. Okay, so let's check out the vocal verse going into the chorus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the renderer, and you guys are going to pay attention to these sliders, these meters. And the verse, the signal's only coming out of the center channel, and in the chorus, it spreads evenly across all the other surround channels. Check it out. So we keep chasing ghosts. So every time we try, we don't get any closure. We keep chasing ghosts. Chasing ghosts. Cool, so let's check that out in the track with all the music stems. Here we go. So we keep chasing ghosts. So every time we try, we don't get any closure. We keep chasing ghosts. Chasing ghosts. I don't wanna watch just the good things die, but I don't wanna spend my whole damn night chasing So by using two instances of the Pentio plugin, one assigned to the center channel and the other one assigned to all the surround channels, you're able to take a single stem that has effects on it 
and redistribute this frequency and be able to create this kind of contrast in a mix. I found that this works well, not just with vocals, but with other instruments, but I'll be sure to post that in other videos. Let me know your thoughts in your comments below. How are you up mixing stems? What techniques or what software are you using? I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you again real soon. Peace.